Hi guys, Magician Ed Popolozzi again, teach you another trick. This is going to be a card trick, okay? I don't need the whole deck, I just need 10 cards. Um, now, for this trick I would use two helpers, and then have them put their hands out like this, like a little table, and I would give each of them five cards. I'd give this person five cards, one, two, three, four, five. I would give this one person five cards, one, two, three, four, five. And we don't need the rest of them, so I'm going to put them away. I had them look at their cards, think of their favorite card, and I'm very clear about this. I tell them, you're going to give your favorite card to this person. You're going to give your favorite card to this person. And as I do that, I'm going to turn my back, okay? So this person picks their favorite card. Say it's that one over there. This person picks their favorite card. Say it's that one over there. Put it over there. Now I tell them they can mix up their cards as much as they want. Doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to pick up this pile, which is this person's card. So I'm going to have them concentrate on their card. Concentrate on their card. I'm going to try to find their card. Hmm. I think, I think it's this one. I'm going to put that right over there. Now I pick up this pile, means I'm looking for this person's card. I tell them to concentrate in their card. Let's see if I can't get any magical vibes. Not, no, no, I don't think it's that. Mm. I think it's that one. Ask them what their cards were. They will hopefully tell you. And you show them, were these your two cards? And they're going to go... <gasps> Those were my cards. Now, this is a very easy trick. I call this odd even because this is what I do. I set the deck up before I came. Those are all odd cards. Okay. The jack is 11, 3, 5, a king is 13, and a 7. Odd cards. Then I have the other pile are all even cards. 4, 10, 4, 6, and a queen is 12. Ace is 1, jack is 11, queen is 12, king is 13. So when I set these up, I don't want to make it look 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It would be a little too obvious. So I always put a picture card in. And with the odd cards, I always put two picture cards in. All right? And with the evens, I usually do a two of a kind because you can get dealt two of a kind. All right? Nobody's ever said, hey, those are all even cards, and those are all, all cards. Never, ever. When I when I was teaching workshops, and I would say to them, anybody see anything wrong with these cards? Nobody nobody has any idea. I mean, they'll throw things out like, well, there's, there's only one diamond. <laughs> well, that's true, but that has nothing to do with it. So, the cards are on top of the deck. All right, five even together, five odd together. I'll deal five cards over here. One, two, three, four, five. Five cards over here. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll put the rest of the deck away. Now, I tell them to choose your one favorite card. Give your one card to this person. You give your one card to this person. You want to make sure they only switch one card. And you want to make sure when you give them cards, you only give them five each. If you give them more than five, you could mess up things. Because you might put an odd card into an even pile, all right? So now when they switch their cards, all they're doing is putting an even card into an odd pile, an odd card into an even pile. They can mix them up all day long, doesn't make a difference. Now remember, when you're picking up this pile, you're talking to this person. Now you're looking for an odd card. Now I can see right away, it's the jack, okay? That's an 11. That's the card that does not belong in this grouping. But I don't want to make it look too easy. So you think about it for a little bit. Then you take it, and because you're looking for this person's card, I put it face down over there. I'll look for these cards. This is this person's card. Once again, we got to find the card that does not belong. Which card does not belong in that pile? It would be the queen, which is a 12. The other cards are all e are all odd cards. So I put it face down, get rid of those. Now, the reason I don't just say, was this your card? Because most people will be honest and they will say to you, oh, that's amazing. That is my card. 
But once in a while, you're going to get a wise guy who's going to say, no, that wasn't my card, even though you know it is. And you can't say to them, I know it's your card. It was the only even card in an odd pile. Can't say that. So by putting them down like this, they don't know if you got it right. So you have them name their cards. They name their cards. Then you show them that you got it right. And I've never had a problem doing it that way. And it works every single time. It's a great trick. It fools everybody. So I hope you have fun with that one. And um, have a great day. I've got to get up to turn this thing off because my remote doesn't do it. Puts it on, will not turn it off. Good exercise, I guess.